Okay, hello. So today I'm going to be making a choker style necklace. Um, I'm going to do a strawberry um, patterned band. So what I've done is I measured how big I wanted the choker to be. I times that by three to get the length of cord that I wanted and then doubled that over so that I've got eight lengths of cord but in four, um, eight lengths wrapped over to give me 16 cords, if that makes sense. I've already threaded a, I'm using a toggle and loop clasp, I've threaded over the, the loop so that I have it to start off to give me the 16 cords to go through my disc and I will place my Kumihimo weight on the other side. Okay. And so with the strawberry, through there, you need eight cords of black, six cords of red, and two of green. So we want hold that there. So break the cords. Now the top we're going to be using, because there's 16 cords, we're going to be having them spaced around the disc in four slot increments. So bear with me a moment and I'll sort out my cords. Okay, so I've threaded my Kumihimo disc and I've put my weight underneath. So it's very important the order um, to get the pattern that we want. It's very important the order that the cords are in. So each cord, each pair has an opposite pair, and those opposite pairs must always be braided together. So we've got red, black, 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 red, 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 black, black, red, green, and red, and green. This will give us the strawberry pattern. Now the thing you must remember is we always turn the disc anti-clockwise and we always thread in the same direction. So I always go top right to bottom right, bottom left to top left. Turn to the next set of threads. So we are now on these two top right to bottom right, to bottom left to top left and turn. Always keeping it so that the weight is holding the tension and always turning in the same direction to the next set. Top right to bottom right. Oh, where did my thread go? Bottom left to top left. And turn. And the, the, the cords you will notice will move around, but that's okay. Because once we move to the next one, they'll move back into place. So just remember always opposites and always anti clockwise turn the disc. Keep the tension steady and um, the cords do get sometimes get tangled on the bottom that's okay because you can put bobbins on the bottom or you can put little some people put beads on the bottom to hold them into place um, but I normally find actually if I stand up then um, mine don't get knotted so I'll keep going with this and then we will come back and see how far we've got The other thing is, if I have to stop for any reason, then I always pull one cord from the top down to the bottom, and then I leave it like that, and then I know that when I put my disc down, when I come back, the thread that's on its own is the one I've next got to bring bottom left to top left, and then I know where I am. 
Okay, so let's keep going. Okay, so as you can see, we've got some strawberries merchant. How cute is that? I'll keep going and we'll see you. I'll see you back.
so you can see I've got this lovely long Kumihima braid can you see the little strawberries they look cute I mean it's a little bit of artistic license there you know mostly the black shapes of strawberries so now we've got to get this is the fiddliest bit now we've got to get the beads onto here by feeding them through this ring sometimes it goes well sometimes it doesn't so here we go Carry on and thread the rest and then I'll be back. Okay, so I've got some 0.5mm cord. This is nylon cord and it's really strong. You can get this off eBay, Amazon. They do an amazing um, set of array of colours actually. Um, but I go to um, couple of different places I go to Beads Direct and Totally Beads to get um, a lot of my cords and they're really good. Right so what I'm going to do is I want to cut off a piece of cord And then I'm going to wrap it as tight as I can around. What I may have to do is take this off. Sometimes I can get it, but there's so many cords on this one. But I can't actually get a grip of it underneath. All the cords off the disc, and then immediately get my cord and wrap where my fingers are. I'm going to pull the cord so I've got most of it on one side. But instead of just tying a knot, I'm going to very fiddly. I'm going to start to wrap immediately and I'm going to pull really tight because if I let go of this at this moment my cords will just splay this is where you like need like three pairs of hands so I'm going to tie a knot very tightly. Because it's nylon cord, so it's quite stiff, so you know it's like when you're trying to knot it. If you only do one knot, it sort of undoes itself. Okay. Now, so my T bar's on there. You can see where I. Here you can see the pattern is beautiful and then it's like work. So we're going to take this off, which was my stopper when I took it off to, to feed the beads, the last beads on. So we'll take that off. Then I'm going to now wrap the last inch in black. Not only will that make my design look neat because you'll never get once you've took this off the wheel you never get it back on perfectly so by binding the end one I've got a nice neat finish two I hide any imperfections because once you take this off no matter how hard you try the tension it changes it's never the same so I'll continue to wrap took that one down there
the way we're going to make this stay in place is that we're going to put some glue on it after and we're going to soak the glue into the fibres once that glue is soaked it won't come off Okay, now I may actually double wrap this, which means it gives me a bit more security and the first one is never perfectly neat, so if I double wrap it, it should be, um, and I could wrap it, double wrap it in a thick cord. The thin cord gives me more security, the thicker cord gives me more of an aesthetic. sunk in we can cut that flesh. So I'm just going to use super glue, high strength. We're just going to it. Okay. Put it on my piece of card. I do not want super glue on my mat. It's really thick this is. myself to these things many times. Right to this side. And then I'll let this dry. Bring it back when all this is dry and nice and neat, and then we'll carry on. Okay, so I've cut the the end, and then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use some little tiny silver crimp beads. This is dead fiddly, so I apologise if it looks like I'm um, rubbish at it. <laughs> not the best at it, but you know, I'll try. Okay, so we've got, we want three ends, because each, otherwise they slip off, so I want three ends to each crimp. Done that one. Okay, I'll turn it that way, it's easier. So hold it still, put a little crimp. It is really fiddly. Little crimp on the end, feed all the little through. Then I've got a crimping tool, and if you look closely, it's got different sizes. So I want to do the end crimp because that's the biggest. I need to turn this around, sorry. Hold this tight. Crimp on. Like these. Because it, it. There we go. And we 
か。それでしょ。これを。あ、ジュディエテス。And then we'll be back. Okay, we are done. So we have the crimpens, which just neaten up. The end there, make it look a bit sparkly with silver. We have the loop and T bar class. We have strawberry uh, patterned braid, Kumihima braid, and we have a strawberry, well, you can see it moving, strawberry shaker pendant, our beads. So yeah, there we go. I love it. It's cool and it's sweet. Thank you ever so much for watching. I do appreciate you. Take care. Bye bye now.